Alright, we're getting into Montana soon. So I'm not getting into the match, I love it. So Little Mac very pervasive in builders, at least in our area with extra and alpha pins. Something to think about is just the power level. Like right here off stage, that's a scary place to be. But if you're able to get those pass offs from your opponent and not get Gimp to charge that KO bunch, things are looking good. But like right there, if that Nair sends him the other way, the man's just dead. And yet he's got a KO punch on deck, so. And he launches it right at the nest, and that's just the power level of the little man right there. Being able to evade those gimps and make things work. And blue team off stage, but managed to get on. I like Alf just waiting to see what Fish is going to do there. Just baiting anything out, going for a punish. And living till 136. I can't let living out live this long. And the target switching from black ones looking very clean right now. It would go back and forth hitting with back airs. Stock though. If uh, Blue Team is able to clean up this Mario stock very quickly, it's a pretty even game. But no one really knowing what to do, just waiting for that rapid jab to finish up. I love the ledge jump there. So quick from Black Team, able to get two bears off of it. Good percentage. And mm -hmm, missing the tech, and that's a stock on. Little Mac close to getting that KO. Yeah. Sorry. And it's that easy. And that's game one going to Red Team. Oh, 30 fair. 
and all of a sudden things are looking pretty good for the red team up two stocks. Coming up a stage with that down air. Catching JJ off guard a little bit. Oh, and another fair. And the tech? Oh! Now JJ is, you know, four stocks ahead of him. I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but. I'm gonna read a roll there. And yeah, you're gonna get F smashed. And that's game two. Good stuff.